to Idolize Makeup Tutorial Channel. So today's look is another original look from me. I came up with this one. I'm not even sure how I came up with this one actually. I've been wanting to do one of these hexagonal looks for quite a while. I've seen some artists do them and they're incredible. So I wanted to give one a go. I did use a stencil for my look today because I am hopeless at freehand drawing shapes. I never get the measurements right and they always end up wonky and wrong. So I'm going to use a stencil and I recommend doing the same if you are not great at drawing shapes freehand. So I'm not exactly sure why I wanted to do this look but I think it could be a cool one that you could wear for Halloween. Even though it's not really a specific character look, it is still really cool and I think paired with the dark lip it's still a dark mysterious look but it is quite pretty. So if that's the look you're going for, then this is perfect. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. You can just hit the little eyeball down in the corner here if you're on a desktop computer. Otherwise, you can just hit the subscribe button underneath this video. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this beehive look right now. Let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going in with my hexagon stencil. I made this myself. I just used a ruler, a pencil, some scissors, and this is a piece of material. And the reason I'm using material and not cardboard or paper is that it's a lot easier to mould the shape onto my face. So I'm just taking this and applying random hexagons over the left side of my face, and I'm outlining these using a white eyeliner pencil. Also, if you would like details of any of the products that I'm using in today's video, you can find them in the description box below, along with links to where you can buy them. Okay, after I've finished drawing the outlines, I'm going ahead and filling in the inside of each of those shapes using a white face paint. With the hexagons near my eyes, I'm just fading out the edges rather than doing a full block shape, which is just going to make it look a little bit neater than trying to get the lines correct around my eye. I'm then going over the top of that white face paint with a pale yellow face paint. And the reason that I put the white down first was to give a nice base because if I didn't use the white, this colour would blend into my skin way too much. Okay, now I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow and I'm applying this over one side at the top of the hexagons. And I'm slowly blending it down about one third of the way along the hexagon. After applying the brown, I'm taking a loose gold shimmer powder. This particular one is from Merin and it's incredibly pigmented. So I'm applying this over the bottom of the blended brown eyeshadow and I'm slowly blending it down across the hexagon about another third of the way along and then I'm blending the edges of this gold and when you blend this gold it actually turns into a medium grey brown colour. So I'm just very carefully blending the edges of it down into the rest of that yellow face paint. I'm then taking a brown eyeliner pencil and I'm lining around the three edges on the same side as the dark brown eyeshadow. I'm doing this on each of the hexagons so on the ones on my forehead that don't have all three sides I'm only doing the sides that I can see. Now I'm taking a concealer and using this as a highlighter, I'm going in between each of the shapes. This is going to clean up the edges and also make the shapes more prominent and stand out a bit more. Now I'm going back in with the white face paint and I'm drawing a small line on the bottom side of the hexagon opposite to the side with the dark brown eyeshadow. Because there's a shadow, we also need to do a highlight and this is going to make it look like there's light shining off the hexagon. And now moving on to the eyes, I'm taking my black liquid eyeliner and drawing a very thin line above my top lash line on both of my eyes, ending in a very small flick. Next I'm taking my Glitz Fix and I'm applying a thin line directly above the eyeliner line that I've just drawn and then leaving it to dry for a couple of seconds and then I'm going over the top of this with that gold shimmer powder that we used on top of the hexagons. Then I'm using Duo Lash Glue to apply my Model Rock 218 lashes and pushing them into place using a Q-tip. Now moving on to my lips, I'm filling in my entire lips using a black liquid lipstick. This one is from Lime Cram. And I'm also using that lipstick to line the edges as well to get a nice defined line. And once I've applied enough layers that it's nice and dark, I'm taking that Glitz Fix and I'm applying it to the Cupid's Bow area. And then I'm applying that gold shimmer powder over the top again. The last thing that I want to add to this makeup is a little B above my eyebrow on the other side of my forehead to the hexagons. So I'm taking my white eyeliner pencil and very roughly outlining a B body shape. I'm then filling in the wings using a light brown eyeshadow. And I'm starting to fill in the body using a black and yellow eyeshadow. I'm using a very thin brush to get the effect of B stripes on the bottom of the B. I'm then using a black face paint on a thin brush to outline the edges of the bee as well as fill in the legs and the stinger. 
I'm also using that face paint to draw small patterned lines through the wings. And lastly, applying a very small amount of white face paint just to the lower half of the wings. Okay, and there we have the completed hexagonal beehive makeup tutorial. If you enjoyed this look today, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, as I said at the start of the video, I have plenty of other crazy cool Halloween looks. And I upload at least one new tutorial every single week. As always, thank you so much for watching, I will see you for the next tutorial. Bye Analyzers!